interview centers manga author Ryu Sumiyoshi on myth and philosophy. Ryu Sumiyoshi, who has worked on the Monster Hunter franchise at Capcom Corporation Limited, has appeared in his first manga, The Graping Historical Fantasy Centaurs. See Otaku USA's review here. Sumiyoshi spoke to Otaku USA about his work, his philosophy, and what the whole city people take away from his manga. What made you interested in manga? Please let us know if there is anything that inspired you to become a manga artist. I never imagined that I would become a manga artist until I was approached by the editor of Centaurs with the rope offer that I could create a story from my characters. I always liked creating characters and I was able to do whatever it took to create characters that were unique. I also learned more about the world of manga, another way that this is a world where I can draw characters with the best original, most originality. I decided to do my best on this path. That was the start. What aspects of centaurs and mythology are you most interested in? There's a lot of room for imagination and mythology, so you can say a centaur is a living thing. It's not absorbed in that world. I'm also interested in the fact that there is a beginning and an end. The story is at a medieval Japan. What elements of this era appeal to you? For our point of view today, we actually have a surprising amount in common with the old things to, con to consider. I'm fascinated by the atmosphere of that era. For example, removing the arms of a centaur, destroying his dignity and his will to run away seems like an outrage, but it's considered natural in the sense of having overwhelming power in your hands and mastering it. Cutting the tails and ears of dogs, blocking the tails of a sheep, and not only do this to animals. We also dig up the roots of trees, tear down mountains, and pick flowers to make our space a more comfortable place to live. There is no recognition that is outrageous. There is neither good nor evil in this world. There is only that age and there were people that lived during that era. All of this can I feel the charm and hope. Please tell us about the production process of centaurs. How do you create the story and characters? I focus on the era, life, and way of life as well as the characters. I was inspired while searching for the strength of those who survive in such a harsh world. Tell us a bit more, little bit about your work at Capcom, especially Monster Hunter. At the time I joined Monster Hunter, I was working as a modeler, creating 3D models of the characters. When I was drawing illustrations of monsters, the ideas began to flow. From there, I was placed in charge of the main work. So I participated in Monster Hunter as a monster designer. I was the main designer of Monster Hunter Double X. I was also doing 3D modeling at the same time, and I continued to hone, hone my abilities. That was your first published manga. How was the experience? It's been a very gratifying experience. It also has been nothing but a surprise that a first time manga and serialized work will be able to reach so many people. Even now, this is the beginning of everything and even though I am immature and clumsy, everything that I value most in my life is considered here. I'm still at that stage where I'm working on new projects, but I believe that it's a work that's all about horses and riders, and that will definitely be returning to many of the aspects first presented in Centaurs. Is there anything you would like North American fans to know about yourself? First of all, I would like to thank all of you who are reading this, the people who work on translation and production, and the people who have supported my efforts. I would be happy if the people who would read my work could feel the impression that everything, not just humans, is simply living. Thank you. I hope that even one person can find this work, pass through the hands of others, they have enjoyed it.